All right, all set. Cool. So I'll just go ahead and read the checklist off to you, and I'll let you do it. All right, so avionics master switch, we've already turned on the ATIS slash ASOS. Let's obtain that now. Okay. So that's going to be that frequency right there. 2475. It's already in, so you can just press COM2. But live on initial contact, you have information, Romeo. Salt Lake Airport ATIS information, Romeo. 2254 Zulu. Wind 300 and 8. Visibility 10. Your clouds at 4,500. Your clouds at 6,500. Temperature minus 4. 2 point minus 1, 4. Altimeter 3020. Simultaneous approach is in use. ILS runway 34 left. LTA DME runway 35 approach is in use. Notice of two airmen. Runway 34, right closed. Caution for extensive bird activity in the vicinity of the airport. Attention all aircraft. Hazardous weather information for uh, Salt Lake area. Available from flight watch or flight service frequencies. There you go. Advise on initial contact. You have information, Romeo. Okay. And whenever you're done, you can turn it off. Okay. <sighs> Next, we're going to obtain our clearance out of the airspace. So that frequency is going to be 127.3. You can just turn this knob here, and that'll s and turn it to 127.3. And then press this button right here, and it'll switch. So now 127.3 is in the active. So you're going to contact them. Just, uh, you're just going to say to them, Salt Lake Clearance, Skyhawk 4365 Romeo. VFR to Twilla, information Romeo. And that's it. Okay. And don't be nervous at all. He's just a person, you know. Um. So you want to practice with me real quick, or you want to go? He's gonna tell me. No, I'm. Gonna, he's he's gonna tell me altitude departure frequency squawk. That's what I'm gonna read back to him. Yeah, he's gonna say clear our Bravo airspace, maintain 5,500 departure frequency 120.9 squawk. I don't know what the squawk code's gonna be, but. Okay. My button right here. Yep. To uh, up to Salt Lake Clearance. Yep, you're talking to Clearance. So say Salt Lake Clearance. Salt Lake Clearance, Skyhawk 4365 Romeo. DFR to Tuila, to information Romeo. Yep, that's all. And he'll come back to you with his clearance. Skyhawk 4365 Romeo, Salt Lake Clearance, to clear data class level airspace, maintain 5,500 bomb level airspace. Arch frequency 120.9er, squawk 0332. And then you're just going to read that. Maintain 5500, departure frequency 120.9er, squawk 0332, Skyhawk 4365 Romeo. 3365 Romeo, read back is correct. We'll verify you said you're headed to Tula, is that correct? Tula, that's correct. Yep, all right. So the only thing you forgot to say is cleared out of Bravo airspace. So just make sure you say cleared out of the Bravo, maintain 5,500, many your departure frequencies at the end here. But other than that, that sounded really good, so. And Salt Lake Clearance, uh, twin seven, yeah. November, 248 Tango Alpha with information Romeo. 248 Tango Alpha, where are you guys headed? Oh, so now, now we'll check all our flatter instruments to make sure those are good. So heading indicator, let's go ahead and set that. Looks like it's on about 265. So just push that in. Yeah, it's really hard. But you and altimeter is set to 3020, good. All right, let's go ahead and taxi. So I'm going to let you have the flight controls. My controls. Your controls. Let's go ahead and turn to the left here, and you're going to see a taxi center line that you're going to want to get on. You see the yellow line up here? Yep, I Just do. Just go ahead and go to that and get on that center line. So you have all, you already have ground put in the backup, so I'm just going to switch that over for you. So now we're on with ground. So it's actually this one over here to the left. Yep. See okay. this one right yeah, here? Yeah. There you go. Get right on it. There we go. Okay. So now you're on with ground. Super tug one, proceed. To so whenever you're ready, we're gonna stop right up here. We're probably gonna stop right before that snow up there. And you're just gonna stop and you're gonna say Salt Lake Ground, Sky Four Three Six Five Romeo, ready for taxi at spot.
3-3. Let's go ahead and stop right here. 718, continue hotel to the ramp. Just say solid ground, 4-2-6-5 Romeo, ready for taxi, spot 3-3. Do I have an option to turn us down and not up? Is uh, that how that's sounding to you or no? Uh, on my side it sounds fine. That'll turn them down. Does that turn me down at all? Or? No. So that's how you do that. Can I turn them up? Or is that that's going to do the same thing? I turn them up for me too. Alpha, go short of hotel. But I can... T is that okay for you? Or? That's good. That's okay. better for me. Yeah. Cool. Two, four, eight, tangle alpha. All right. So just go ahead and contact uh, them. Uh, three, eight for eight, tangle alpha. Okay. Solid ground. Four, three, three six, five, Romeo, ready for taxi. Three, five, spot three, three. three. Three five eight kilo behind the Vietnam, uh, eight tango alpha. Nine six ninety six cent for Fox. Do I tell them I have Romeo? Nope. Don't need to. Nine six nope. ninety six Roger Hotel. To the gate. Give way to the Alaska seven thirty seven. Okay, we'll give way to Alaska Hotel the gate. Nine six ninety six. Go ahead. Salt Lake Ground Skyhawk. 4365 Romeo at spot 33, ready to taxi. 2142, looks like you missed the wrong one there. Just make the next turn uh, left. He'll, he'll come back then, to us. Uh, Echo Shorter Hotel. Here, let me try it. Uh, maybe in here. Skyhawk 4365 oh, Romeo, slow ground. What spot? For spot 33. Very good. 365 Romeo, 35 taxi via Kilo, and give way to one there just north of you. 35 via, via Kilo, we'll give one away to the one north, 65 Romeo. And Alrighty. So, just go straight here, so. Um, tell us. 2230, huh? 7, push your discretion. Normally, so right here, we'll have our airport maps, our, our uh, airport diet taxiway diagram pulled up. So. So, he didn't tell me what to run away. Yeah, he said, he said 35 via Kilo. Oh, I didn't hear that. Yeah, okay. it's I just heard Kilo. Okay. Three five via Kilo. Okay. So we're we'll just come up here. Spot. Kilo's right up here, and we got our. Let's go, Fox Air Bravo to spot twenty. Airport map pulled up right here, and we'll just keep pressure off that nose wheel taxiing through this, and we'll be really, really light on the um, on the brakes when we're on that snow. Hotel ten, taxi hotel to the Going left, right. So we're just going to follow this taxi line. Hotel, hotel 10 to the Ramp American 344. Very good. And we'll just go all the way down here to 35. So 35 will be at the end here. So a little trick, tip for the keeping that nose wheel right on the center line. Yeah. So you can either line your rivets up with it on the cowling here, or you can take your right leg and put it right on the center line. That'll yeah. put your nose right on it. So either, I'm sure you've already been taught that. The right leg, yeah. The Let's rivet's a new one, but I'm going to pull the power back a little bit and slow it down a little bit here. Um, I'll take the controls real quick, and I'll show you where to go from here. So... Everyone right now looks like they're lining up outside of the ILS. So we have the ILS shoulder line here. I don't think they're using the ILS approach today. So I really, you only have to line up outside of this on a, like a cloudy day because you don't want to uh, interrupt um, the signal for people doing an ILS approach. Um, Decide who is it? Flight ground, Skyhawk, 225, Whiskey Charlie. Two to five with Charlie Sayground. So we'll just come over here. I believe tower, we're holding short over here at 35 and tower told us to contact 121.9. Okay, are you uh, ready to depart? Yes, sir, we are, which is why we're a little bit confused about that. I was Charlie. So this is right here, let's get up on the lineup. So we'll go ahead and do a run up. Before we do a run up, let's go ahead and switch to tower and just monitor them now. So tower is 118.3. So go ahead and this, this big knob right here, 118.3. Okay, now we're on with tower. We're not going to talk to him yet. We're just monitoring now. Okay, so now we're going to do a run-up. So, I'll read it off to you. Nose wheel straight, brakes set and hold. Flight controls free and correct. So we'll go full right. Whiskey Charlie, Sully Left. And so I, 
the way I like to do it is I bring it right and left because we want to make sure they're correct, but we want to make sure we have full motion in all directions. And then I'll bring it all the way back. Look at my L. That's up. Is it good? Good. Good. Then I'll bring it all the way to the other side. Dialer on goes up. The right goes down, elevator still up, bring the elevator all the way down, and I can bring the elevator back up, just check the trim, verify trim's working, which it is, bring it down, and then just check my rudders, my rudder works, so, flight control free and correct, fuel selector valves on both, fuel shut off valve doesn't have one, uh, we just have the off position in this airplane, fuel quantity, we topped it off and it's showing here, okay, mixture, full rich, so you just push that in, good. Throttle very slowly, bring it up to 1800 RPM since the engine's a little cold. Charlie, Sawyer runway 35, line up and wait. Line up and wait, 35, 225, whiskey Charlie. 225, whiskey Charlie, 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 that uh, the yellow one in and slowly start pulling it back. Five was Charlie wind ten nine zero nine and we. And we'll just wait for a rise in RPM and then the drop. Okay, cleared for takeoff three five. We'll turn right. There's the drop. Bring it back up to its rise. By going back to eighteen, or just yeah. until it rises. Just so here.